All right, I am ready. And then I want to try to get one more video done. Um, might not be able to because this video is quite long. All right. Hello, you absolute legends. Last month, the streamer known as Queen Pones a lot pretended to be the dragon Alatreon wearing a blindfold. This garnered her quite a lot of attention. But when people experienced with the game she was playing and those experienced in blindfold speedrunning. All right, one second. Let me turn up the quality. <laughs> Sorry. Not the quality. saw her video, they realized immediately it was fake. Unfortunately, Queen Ponzalot's effort of faking a blindfolded run was extremely poor. Not only was she using strategies that are just flat out impossible to use while blind, but the blindfold she was using was so thin and obviously fake, even we, the viewers, could see straight through it. Soon yeah. enough, people were making videos calling out her fake run, and Queen Ponzalot was beginning to get quite a lot of negative attention. As it turns out, the public doesn't appreciate liars and people who try to fake gaming accomplishments for clout. After receiving backlash, Queen Ponzalot fought back, announcing that she was going to do another blindfolded run of the Dragon Alatreon, but this time with more proof. On the 14th of February, she went live, and she was stacked to the gills with ironclad anti-cheat Okay, give me one second. <laughs> so do you guys think that... Okay, well... The video's title is the fake blindfold speedrun. So I was gonna say, do you think that this, do you think she did it without cheating? And unfortunately, it might be bias. Well, I'm not gonna even say, it is bias. I believe Carl already. And that's just cause Carl has a much better reputation. He is just, I just trust it. I just trust him more. But I don't know. Um, I know that he's going to present evidence. So we're going to get a good chance to look at that and uh, come up to a decision. Measurements. This time she wore a genuine blindfold. She had a hand cam. She had input display. She had paper covering up her monitors. And she was live. Surely there was absolutely no way she could cheat. And with all of this in place, she did it again. She beat the Dragon Alatreon in front of hundreds of people. She was so convincing that it seemed like everyone now believed she was legit. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altreon blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. God damn it Maybe happened. we got it wrong. Maybe Queen Ponzalot was just more gifted than everyone else. And she could really do things blindfolded that no one else could. Or maybe, just maybe, she just cheated again. And we don't know how. Honestly, when I first saw her new successful attempt, I didn't know how she did it. But I did know two things. One, her gameplay was impossible to do blind. And two, people always underestimate the autistic power of speedrunners. I was committed to finding out how this was done. I envisioned sophisticated cheating methods that would be impossible to detect. I figured that whatever Queen Ponzalot did must be pretty genius to fool everyone so easily. For three days, I meticulously studied her video. I worked with experts to clarify game mechanics. I spoke with programmers to see if we could replicate her run using advanced software. But I was getting nowhere. And then, after 72 hours of running into dead ends, I finally saw it. I noticed that Queen Ponzalot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted, and the magician had exposed her secrets. I had the smoking gun, and within 20 minutes of seeing Queen Pones a lot do this one thing, we okay. Wait, what new existing gun lifted and the Pones a lot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted. Wait, 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 then, after 72 hours of running into dead ends, I finally saw it. I noticed that Queen Pones a lot. What is the the I'm trying to figure it out. I want I want to try to so the maybe I'm being red-haired. Um so the paper was lifted. 
plot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted, and the magician had exposed her secrets. I had the smoking gun. Oh, and was within it not 20 that? minutes of seeing Queen Ponzalot do this one thing, we knew exactly how she did it, and we had the proof. As it turns out, I was on the wrong track the entire time. Okay. I thought the method she used must have been smart because no one detected it. But in the end, it turned out to be the simplest and dumbest method I could have You don't think that there's another monitor on the right side that's not covered up by the camera, do you? Or not covered by the camera? Do you think she's looking at another monitor? imagined. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how Queen Ponzalot faked her most recent blindfolded takedown of the dragon Alatreon, and I guarantee that you'll be shocked at just how many things she did to try and fool you. I really hope you enjoy. Okay. Legends, let's be honest. If you're watching my channel, it's because you are a gigantic nerd. I'm a huge nerd. You're- True. True. Or a huge nerd, that's just the way it is. And as nerds, there is nothing more important or fulfilling than having a really good gaming PC. Which is why you should invest in a PC from today's sponsor, Starforge Systems. Starforge makes things for oh, a reason. <laughs> no way, did Asmin, like, did his company, wait, is Starforge? Starforge is Asmin's company, right? Did he sponsor Carl? <laughs> Dude. For people like me, who don't know how or just don't want to build their own PC. They offer amazing pre-built PCs at all different price points. So if you go in with a certain budget, you know you're going to get the best you can for your money. Starforge PCs are used it by is. tons of creative <laughs> creators, including myself. They are dude. built by hand in Austin, Texas by experienced builders. They look beautiful, and they run smoothly. Plus, they are reliable, coming with a full two-year part and labor warranty. I rely on my PC for absolutely everything. Thing, including this YouTube channel. My standards are extremely high. I need something powerful and I need something quiet. And the PC I got from Starforge Systems was literally everything I could have asked for. Please get yourself a PC you deserve. The link to Starforge Systems will be in the description. That's pretty funny. Go and check out their PC. That's today. genius. Genius by Asmongold. In my previous video, we looked at Queen Ponzalot's earlier blindfolded runs, where she used a really thin, transparent sheet of material to cover her eyes and pretended that she couldn't see. In this mm -hmm. case, it was so easy to debunk because everyone can just use their own eyes and see that her blindfold was fake. As far as her gameplay was concerned, it's also really obvious that she can see as well. She claims to use the audio to know exactly where the monster is, but years of blindfolded competition tells us that this is impossible. I also highlighted that beyond knowing where the monster is, it's also impossible to detect whether you are looking up or down. So if you see a blindfolded player using their mouse to look up or down, you know they can see. In her latest attempt, we see all of those impossible gameplay mechanics in action once again. And in some cases, it's even worse. She will access the menu in order to use items and mess up the camera, and then immediately and perfectly fix it. She even does this when the dragon is not making any sounds at all, so there is quite little Literally, no audio cue, like in this example. Beyond yeah, the impossible literally. vertical movement, we also see crazy head tracking in real time that is just laughable. I mean, just look at this gameplay. Yeah, no way. L what the? Do you see the- did you see that movement? Dude. What? No, I- mm. I don't know. In the last clip, she is rolling underneath the dragon, keeping the camera on its head perfectly as that. she does it. It's hilarious. And remember, looking up does nothing. It doesn't let her hit any higher, so there is literally no point in doing this other than to see the head, which makes no sense if you're blindfolded. All of this seems very confusing because she appears to be wearing a proper blindfold. And as I mentioned before, her monitors are even covered up with paper, meaning that she can't see them. Please anyway. tell me she's looking this at another monitor 
other way she might be playing Please without tell me. seeing. One way is some monitor. kind of aimbot. Aimbots are common in many games, so it's really? possible if she had some kind of sophisticated software, it could help her aim on the dragon. This would solve the problem of locating the dragon and also solve the vertical aiming issue. However, okay. this wouldn't solve all of the problems, like being able to dodge attacks that don't have sound cues. In one instance, she accidentally hooks onto Alatreon's leg instead of its head and immediately releases before targeting the head again. But there's yeah, no what? audible difference How would you know that? hooking onto the leg or the head, so there is no way she should have known. In order to solve issues like this, I yeah. theorized that maybe someone was talking to her and giving her instructions through Discord. It, With someone I, it in her has ear to be. and some aim assist software, you might be able to play like this without sight. I reached out to Monster Hunter World expert TSC, who actually developed the first known aimbot of the game. According to him, what she the was hell? Using an aimbot. What? <laughs> Sight. I reached out to Monster look at, look at this. World Expert TSC, who actually developed the first known aimbot of the what? game. According to him, if she was using an aimbot to achieve this effect, it would require software far more sophisticated than anyone in the community currently possesses. It seems unlikely that this was the method. The most common theory I saw online was that she was using pre-recorded gameplay. Maybe she beat mm. Alatreon earlier and just played that gameplay footage during her live stream. Something like this has been done before. I even made a video about a speedrunner who cheated by using a pre-recorded run during a live charity marathon. However, I didn't believe this was the case. Queen Ponzalot had two cameras and they were both completely in sync. I studied her mouse movements and they always seemed to match what was going on. Please tell the me there's game. another monitor and we so just don't her keyboard see. Inputs. Her mouse sensitivity was very high, so a lot of movements are hard to see, but I couldn't see any discrepancies. It did appear as though she was actually playing. In my opinion, this also ruled out the idea that someone else was playing instead of her, perhaps by using remote assistance. This is an idea that the YouTuber Abisoft spent some time investigating to see if it could work. But aside from her mouse movements matching her gameplay, latency issues would also be a huge problem. Some people suggested that she was using a magician's blindfold and she could see through it. But this is extremely unlikely. Her blindfold doesn't look like any fake blindfold I could find, and we know what blindfold she has because because it was recommended to her. Blindfolded expert Mitris has the exact same one, and it looks exactly the same. One other thing people noticed, and trust me, we noticed this immediately too, is that after Queen Ponzalot killed Alatreon and lifted the paper up, there was something on her screen. Wait a it minute. It seemed like she noticed this and moved- Wait, 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 wait. Did you guys catch that? Wait a minute. What? Oh my god. We noticed this immediately too, is that after Queen Ponzalot killed Alatreon and lifted the paper- Dude, what is that? Do you see that? I'm pointing at- I'm pointing at this- I'm pointing at my screen, sorry. Do you see this? This right here. Can I zoom in? How do I zoom in? Can I zoom in? Is there a zoom? Look at that. Do you guys see that? Hold on. Let me, let me size it up. Size that up. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is that? There is nothing on that screen. There's nothing over here on that. What is this? What's this? What is this? Why do you... What? What? What's that? We, we're... What? Oh, no. Oh boy. Ooh. Paper up, there was something on her screen. Yeah. And it seemed like she noticed this and yeah. moved the paper back down to try and hide it. Mm. I pause it. What is, is on that? The screen? And what is on the thing? Ooh. Is Monster Hunter on her screen? <sighs> oh no. Ooh. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not good. Not good. <sighs> and then watch what happens. She puts it back down to cover. 
She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game comes back up on screen. Oh, this is no. the Windows Start menu. And the reason it appeared is because she hit the Windows key. In fact, she hits the Windows key multiple times throughout her blindfolded attempts. This bugged the hell out of us, and we had no idea why she was doing it. Could this have something to do with how she was faking her gameplay? At seemingly ran- she was hitting the Windows key? Because she hit the Windows key. In fact, she hits the Windows key multiple times throughout her blindfolded attempts. Oh, no. This bugged the hell out of us, and we had no idea why she was doing it. Could this have something to do with how she was faking her gameplay? Why would she be hitting the Windows times, key? She would hit the Windows key, which would tap her out of the game. This caused her inputs to stop working. Yeah. She would then need to hit the escape key to try and get back into the game. Watch this clip where she hits the Windows key and then spends 10 seconds trying to get the game to work again. Why, why is the Windows key button hidden? Why out of all the buttons on that side? You have every key but the Windows key. Bro. She knew exactly what she was doing. You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew exactly. Why is that one button hidden? This is bizarre, and she does this multiple times without ever mentioning it. She acts as if this really weird thing that she is doing isn't happening, which is obviously really suspicious. Ultimately, it seems like this is some kind of unrelated tech issue that she was having with her mm -hmm. eye tracker. Multiple times before she even started her blindfolded attempts, we can see her hitting the Windows key in order to fix something. She even mentioned it earlier in her stream. We needed to fix the Kobe. I think this tech issue has nothing to do with her blindfolded attempts. But an important question to ask is how did she know there was a problem? She was blindfolded and couldn't she see, did. but knew there was some kind of technical issue and always tried to fix it. And she did all of this without looking and without saying. Why? Oh, look. <laughs> she please tell me she's looking at another monitor, please anything to her I audience. Think it'd be so it's all funny. really bizarre. In the end, however, after discovering the truth, I realized this was a giant red herring. After several days of brainstorming, I was beginning to run out of ideas. But then, in the middle of the night, I revisited a question I had from day one. There was something that Queen Pones a lot did that was really strange, and I couldn't figure it out. Immediately after she covers her main monitor with paper, while she is attempting to distract her viewers, she holds down her left mouse button for 10 seconds. This was actually mm. one of the very first things I noticed when investigating her run, but I never had an answer as to why she did it. Normally, when you hold a button down for a few seconds, it activates something, and this right. was one of the reasons I thought she was using some kind of software. But I had overlooked something that was so obvious and so simple, I can't believe I didn't see it immediately. Once I understood what she was doing, it was game over. Holding her mouse button down for 10 seconds told me everything Thing I needed to know. It unlocked all of her secrets. It revealed to me that there was in fact a third <sighs> hidden monster. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh my god. Yes. I fucking knew it. I'm so happy. I knew it. Yes. Queen Pines a lot <laughs> yes. wants us to believe yes. that she only has two <sighs> monitors. When she covers them up, she makes sure to verbally state that her monitor on the left has all of her other stuff on it. To the main attraction as we get our duct tape for our main monitor because, yeah. I knew it. So yes. There it is. All my other stuff on it. Boom. Yes. This is a lie. In truth, she has a third monitor to her right off camera. That's why. Oh comes my paper, god. You can see that her Dude. 
Do you think that when we saw her, oh my god, please, t please tell me that, like, when she lifted her screen at the end, oh, let me go back, that she did, like, the window shortcut to move the game over. Can we see that? Where is that? Where is that? Where's the clip? It's right here. Right here somewhere. Stella Treyon and lifted the paper up, there was something on her screen, and it seemed like she Look at her eyes! Look at her eyes, chat. Chat, look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. Watch her look over there. Watch, 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 watch. Uh, oh, shit. Looks exactly the same. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Look at her eyes. Look at how she looks over. Look at, look, 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 look. Look, look, look. One other thing people notice, look at the eyes. trust me, we noticed this immediately too. I know you guys can't see it. I'll, I'll let you know when she is that after notices. Queen Pones a lot killed Alatreon and lifted. Okay, see, she just lifted the screen. Watch her eyes dart over to the right side. The paper up. There was something on her screen, and Look it at seemed that. like she noticed this and moved the paper back down to try and hide it. Look at that! Look at her! Look over! Look at her! <laughs> Look at it! Look at that! Look at! It. Look at! It. Look at it. Oh my god. I'm so... I don't know why I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got that right. I knew it. I knew there was a second monitor. Or three. I knew there was another monitor that was hidden. Look at her. Look at it. Look at it. Look, look. I pause it. What is on the screen? Get out of the way. And what is on the thing? Is Monster Hunter on her screen? And then watch what happens. She puts it back down. To cover. She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game comes back up on. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, how did I how do I reset the transformation? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I knew it. There's another monitor. She did it. Normally when you hold a button down, she covers them up, she makes sure to verbally stay. Thing that struck me as odd is how. No. The reason she did this is because she had to ensure that what she did was hidden from the camera. This is where the beauty of the input display comes in because we can yes. still see everything she's doing. Chat. But it's obvious she is trying to hide it. What she does Why? Look at her is look. very sneaky. Look at she lifts up the paper on her main monitor, which has her OBS on it. She clicks on her OBS window and holds down the mouse key. Then, while she is holding down the mouse button, she distracts her audience with verbal diarrhea. That's why we go through what we go through, right? You know? And it's the way that it has to be. Look at her look over there. There's another monitor. Next is the key that I should have seen immediately. What is the most common thing you do when you hold down your mouse button? You drag, you drag. the window. Yes. While talking, she drags her OBS to her hidden monitor on the right. We can confirm this with the input display. We can see her hand move it to the right, and she even looks at her hidden monitor on the right when she does this. That's why we go through what we Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. You know? And it's the way that it has to be. <sighs> oh, look at her. He has she another will monitor. Use her OBS on the hidden monitor to see the game. Immediately I knew after it. this, she pretends to move the OBS to her left monitor. She moves her mouse to the left, she looks to the left, and she even says that she's moving something. But she However, the we mouse. can see on the input display, she doesn't even click her mouse. Now, despite the fact her monitor on the right is supposed to be a secret, she cannot help but stare at it constantly. Yeah. She even responds to this exact message in chat while looking at it. However, mid-sentence, she realizes how stupid this is and stops talking. All right. Look at her, look. Everything, everything will be unedited.
After panicking and thinking for 10 seconds, <laughs> she tries to fix this mistake and pretends she read the message from the monitor on the left. No. Oh, yeah. Everything, everything will be unedited. What was the last thing you said? Unedited. The funny thing about Queen Pongelot reading chat from her hidden monitor is that it's completely unnecessary. There is no need to have chat there in the first place, and it just causes her to constantly look at it, making it obvious it's there. And it also causes- Fiance is home. Let's finish up this video and then I gotta call it. Causes her to screw I up knew there was responding a to it. I knew there was another monitor, she just couldn't help bro. herself and she really wanted to see all of her fans talking about her as she was playing. So we know that she has a monitor to her right, but how does she see it? Yeah. Well, the secret is in how she's wearing her blindfold. She's wearing it very, very loosely. It's barely able to stay on her face, and on top of that, she wears it very high. This is not how you're supposed to wear a blindfold. Anyone who owns a blindfold like this knows you don't wear them loose, you wear them tight. If you wear them loose, light gets in. Yep. By wearing her blindfold loose, she can see through a small gap between her nose and the blindfold. The gamer Juzzy has already replicated her exact setup. In his case, he showed his two monitors which he turned off, he wore a a proper blindfold, he used the exact same input display, and he had a hand cam. With all of this, he also killed Alatreon in expert fashion. <laughs> uh, this is so fun. You've been caught. Here, he explains how he did it. As you can see now, my monitors are off, and I'm blindfolded, but, um, despite my short-sightedness without glasses, I can clearly see these targets and shoot at them. And why is that? It's because there's a secret here. Right now, I'm wearing the blindfold, right? But I can see out the gaps between my nose and my blindfold. And if I wore it even looser, I'd be able to see out the sides left and right in my peripheral vision. Then the next step to the trick is the fact that another thing you guys noticed, there's two monitors here, right? But they're not the only ones. And the third monitor on my left. On top of wearing her blindfold very loosely, oh. Queen Ponzalot also sits back in her chair and looks up in an unnatural it. way. This is to get a better viewing angle. Before her attempt with the new blindfold, she had spent around one hour playing with her old blindfold over multiple days and weeks. And for that entire time, she always sat like this. She mm -hmm. was leaning forward and looking directly in front of her. This is because while her blindfold was partially obscuring her sight, she could see straight through it and was looking at the monitor directly in front of her. With the new blindfold, she can't see through the front of it, which is why she has now completely changed her sitting position so she can <laughs> I see knew, down and I knew the that that was weird. This is not a normal way to sit. And Bro. World Class Blindfold Speedrunner Bubsia confirms that when you see someone sitting in this position, it's a giant red flag. And uh, if I curve up even more, but that's already looking very sus, I guess, if you, if you sit there like your neck breaking. Uh, if I sit like this, for example, I can see half of my monitor. Um, I can I can see OBS right now, literally. I can see the volume meters going up. I can see the picture. If I turn a bit, I can see the other monitor. Yeah. And it's as simple as that. There is a hidden monitor on the right, and she is playing through her OBS, which she discreetly moved to it. I can't believe I spent so much time researching aimbots when the solution was so stupidly basic. And while it's so easy just to say there was a hidden monitor, which some people did, it's an entirely different story to provide concrete evidence. Yeah, that's hard. The fact hard. that we can literally see her move OBS to the hidden screen, the fact that she reads chat from it, the fact that she stares at it constantly, the fact that she wears her blindfold so loosely, and the fact that she sits in such a weird position, all prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this is the way she cheated. But here is my favorite part. After she has killed Alatreon, and while paper is still covering her screen, she looks directly at the hidden monitor and moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even trying to hide it. And beyond all of this, <laughs> the simple fact remains, the way she played the game is impossible to do if you can't see.
Now let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, this entire thing isn't a big deal. This is just silly, fun internet drama, and it's just really interesting to learn how Queen Ponzalot faked her blindfold runs. Personally, I'm not emotionally charged about this. I just love trying to expose video game yeah. fraudsters because I enjoy it. This whole back and forth is honestly really entertaining. But to make it no mistake, really her behavior is not healthy, and it's not a good thing. There are gamers who spend thousands of hours legitimately trying to do amazing things without the ability to see. Blindfolded gaming takes a lot of hard work, and it takes a lot of ingenuity. And Queen Ponzalot keeps taking a giant steaming dump on all of their efforts. Because of her actions, people are going to trust the accomplishments of real gamers even less. Yeah. Skepticism will disproportionately rise, and the public will become even more cynical. But on the flip side, maybe that's a good thing. The amount of people who threw common sense to the wayside and took her runs at face value is pretty shocking. Maybe people do need to be a bit more skeptical, and maybe this lesson was an important one to learn. Let me know what you think in the comments. I worked with a group of gamers who helped me do research for this uh, video, including man. the YouTuber Abisoft, who is uh, about this here back. Research. So you, I hope. Oh man. So I can spoil it for you. I just finished watching the new video. And it's exactly what I called. I uh, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think it'll show you. I know for a. But I knew it. I knew it. The way she's sitting, the way she interacted with like the stream and everything. She's got a third monitor that you can't see in the camera. There's a third monitor that you can't see. Yeah, I know. That's cr that that would be crazy to see. She's got a third monitor that you can't see. Yes, watch, watch, watch. It's so obvious. Cause she, if you can see her, keep looking over there. Like, look, look, where's she looking? She is trying to hide it. What she does next is very sneaky. Where's she looking? <laughs> You can even see it when she fights, when she finishes the Elytrion fight. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? You can see it right here, I think. Queen Pines a lot killed Elytrion. Okay, watch, 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 watch. She's going to look underneath. Try on and lift the paper. What is that on her monitor? What is that? That's not the game. <laughs> what is that? That's not the game. And then watch this. For up, there was something on her screen, and it seemed like she noticed this and moved the paper back down to try and hide it. I pause it. What is on the screen? <laughs> and what is on the thing? Is Monster Hunter on her screen? And then watch what happens. She puts it back down to cover. She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a cheater. Game comes back up on screen. This is the Windows Start menu. And the reason it appears she cheated. But here is my favorite part. After she has killed Alatreon, and while paper is still covering her screen, she looks directly at the hidden monitor and moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even <laughs> trying to hide it. And beyond all of this, the simple fact remains, the way she played the game is impossible to do if you can't see. Now let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, that's so funny. Personally, I'm not emotionally charged about this. I just love trying to expose video game fraudsters because I enjoy it. This whole back and forth is honestly really entertaining. It is. But it's make fun. no mistake, her behavior legitimately takes a lot of high accomplishments of real gamers even less. But on the side, and took her runs at face value is pretty shocking. Maybe people do need to be a bit more skeptical, and maybe this lesson was an important one to learn. Let me know what you think in the comments. I worked with a group of gamers who helped me do research for this video. Inclu that was awesome. That's awesome. All right.